Hey boys, can you prank call my mate Ben? And then he's got his last name for the podcast. He's a plumber and he has been working on a lot on Saturdays lately. Whenever he works on the weekends, he tends to slack off on the safety side of things like not wearing his orange high-vis shirt. Can you say some shit like you're a safety representative and you walked past a domestic home he was working on and him saw him working without a high-vis shirt? This fucking super glue. It <laughs> sticks to you, eh? I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that, man. You've got it on. Well, it's Ben speaking. Hello, Ben. It's just Miranda here from Workplace Health and Safety. How are you today? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Um, So, we've spoken with your boss, Andrew, from... And um, there's been reports that um, you've actually been uh, not wearing your high-vis shirt on on two... I've got two dates here in front of me. Is that is that true at all? Uh, yeah, I probably would have been wearing a race shirt. Yeah, right. So, um, at the moment, um, they're actually really cracking down on, on people not wearing high vis, and um, there's actually um, infringement notices being handed out. So, unfortunately, yep. um, yeah, we'll have to get you um, to pay the infringement notice, and also you might have to come down and um, just give your fingerprints because they've just got this whole new procedure and um, COVID. with COVID and everything. So, um, if you could come down and just give your fingerprints as well, that would be great. Is that a mandatory thing? Yeah, it is for everyone now. Just since, I don't know, April or something this year. Yeah, it's just passed through. Yeah, right. Yeah, and the infringement notices, um, so there'll be three. There's one for indecent exposure. Um, So it's actually uh, deemed indecent exposure these days if you don't have your high-vis shirt on, even if you are wearing clothing underneath. Okay. Yeah, so that's the first one. And then the second one is, of course, um, uh, the breach of safety. So um, that one's up to $450 now. Uh, they've And again, that's just sort of gone up just because of COVID and, and stuff like that. Can I just mark down here? I just got to mark down when you think you can come in to the closest office and just drop off your fingerprints and also just your, um, they'll have to take your mugshot and stuff as well now. Wait, when did all this happen? I've got the dates here in front of me. Um, so the last time you um, were... Reported to be not wearing the high vis. One second. Oh, that's the bloody computer. <laughs> um, let's see. So the first time was the twenty fifth of uh, July. Sorry, the the last time, the twenty fifth of July. So what's that? Um, that's that uh, two uh, two Saturdays ago, is it? Yeah, two Saturdays ago. And then the one prior to that was on the 11th of July. So that was um, then two weekends before that. And um, yeah, we, and we had to speak to your boss and everything about it. You know, it's just not, it's just not a good look for him and stuff like that. So yeah. right, two Saturdays ago, I wasn't even working. Uh, well, it says here. Yeah, that's the date I've got written down here. So whoever's um, put a complaint in says that you were working on the 25th. And well, I don't want to argue with you, but I haven't worked this Saturday in about three months. Well, you've uh, at the beginning of the conversation, you agreed that you haven't been wearing a high-vis shirt. Okay, so please don't try and play the morally righteous card right now, okay? Because really, it's quite dangerous, to be honest. COVID's a bit. No, I'm not sure. I'm not trying it's to COVID like, around. Like, It's COVID yeah. around and, and people always taking their bloody high-vis off and then don't get seen and boom, truck bloody takes them out of some shit. You never bloody know these days. Yeah, I'm not, don't get angry with me. I'm not trying to get angry with you. I'm just no, saying, it's just, like, no, I'm, I, do, I, I have passion for my job. I'm just, I'm just I'm just passionate about it, you know what I mean? So I just really want Yeah, no, it's fair enough. But look, I, I genuinely haven't worked on Saturday in about three months. Like, you can ask work. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, if there's a report come through on a Saturday, well, I haven't been working. So I don't know how it's yeah. happening. Okay, well, look, you can dispute it. Okay, you can, you can go dispute it, but you'll have to go to the magistrate's court. And that's quite a lengthy process. It's about six months or something. So I'm just letting you know that those um, complaints, they have been validated. That has happened. So, yeah, those infringements, they're coming. Why are you yelling? I'm just a bit worked up, it's all. I'm just... Yeah, but- my grandpa's. Who do you work for, sorry? My grandpa's got I actually work for a coal miner. Okay. A coal miner? Yes. Okay, you got me. This is a prank call. Oh my god, is this Marty Mark? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought he I thought he knew yeah, from fucking dude, day. I thought, I thought I fucked that up right at the start. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what, were you, what were you picturing me as? <laughs> like a fucking. Honestly, I thought you were just some 
Oh, you say I'm really gay. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's funny, as. Oh, oh, good on you, dude. You're a fucking champion. <laughs> um, oh, that's made my day, honestly. That's mean. Yeah, your mate said it in, dude. Yeah. He, yeah, he fucking... Uh, he well, said to who, try and put on a new voice. Who was it, Josh? Um, let me have a look. I think there was two mates who wrote the same fucking prank in. Yeah, so he's I like, think was make the, sure you change your voice as much as possible because he'll be on to you. The first one is... Oh, I, I thought you knew as soon as we started. All right, dude. Well, thanks for being a legend and um, we love you, okay? No dramas. Don't mate. forget Cheers to wear that. the hivers. Yeah, put your hivers on, Josh. See you, mate. All right, see ya. Bye. That was not bad. That was very good, dude.